What's happening? So, just home after training pull with Meg and Kuba. Really, really good session. And me being the pro YouTuber that I am, uh, I forgot to charge my camera battery. Came to the session, you know, had great plans of recording a few clips, recording the whole session, and my camera went dead after like a few warm up sets of the very first ex exercise. If some of the footage is a little bit off, then that is probably because it was recorded on my iPhone and not on my Canon. Unfortunately, um, it is what it is. Hopefully the clips will be okay, but I'd say the audio will be a little bit off on my iPhone because I have the Rode mic on this camera, directional mic, and it picks up audio quite well. There was a lot of kind of pointers that Kubo was taking me through with certain movements. Might not be able to hear that on the iPhone audio, unfortunately, which is a shame. There will be a video going up on Kubo's YouTube channel also, um, and I will be in that because Gaz was recording. Hopefully you might see some of the pointers in that video there that'll probably be coming out like next week rookie mistake but lesson learned you will also notice at the start of that video i started doing the snatch grip rdls for my first exercise so this is actually exercise that i tweaked my hamstring on there um, about a week and a half ago i just tried to do today uh, with kuba doing the warm-up sets to see if i could get the form down and the form nailed and he kind of talked me through it a lot at the start i feel like my form is a lot better on it now i know uh what cues i'm supposed to be thinking about when i'm performing the move so did a warm-up set with the bar put two 20 kg plates on each side I kind of feel it my hamstring a little bit but didn't feel too bad loaded two plates aside on it then and went for one rep and immediately I just felt a little bit of a pain in my hamstring so I just re-racked away and I was just like look um, I'm not going to be doing any hip hinges for the next few weeks until this is fully healed so that's fine just going to swap out the hip hinge for like a chest support row for my back and to be honest I was fine training legs the other day so Kuba just said that it will be better for us to just be able to train legs rather than just do a hip hinge. Any sort of hip hinge is probably my favorite exercise in my entire split, and I think everyone should be doing a hip hinge if they really do want to build their posterior chain, but just gonna have to do without it for a few weeks, swap it out for chest support row, um, and just wait patiently until this hamstring is fully recovered. So I hope you enjoyed this session. I hope you can hear some of the pointers that Kuba is going through with me. Hopefully you'll get something out of it. <laughs>
what's up i'm back so i just finished up recording that recording editing that youtube what's up so i just finished up editing that youtube video and to be honest it actually didn't turn out as bad as i thought it would um so the picture and the audio weren't too bad i think you can kind of hear some of the stuff that kuba is saying during the video um so hopefully you'll be able to make it out i think there is a couple of good pointers in there video is quite raw it's just a lot of workout footage i was kind of in the zone during that workout on that day so i wasn't really coming up to the camera talking through what we were doing um in between the sets or anything like that i was just trying to soak up as much information as i possibly could i hope you enjoyed the video if you did uh, drop it a like subscribe all that good stuff next video will be back to more of a vlog style video because i have some footage that i already recorded before that pull session but this turned out to be quite a long video so i didn't want to put it all in together i uh, just wanted it to be a separate video so again i hope you enjoyed the video and i will catch you in the next one